Ever pondered about what lies on the far side of the moon, the dark unseen side that remains forever hidden from our earthly view? Well, China's Chang'e Lunar Exploration Program is on a mission to uncover these celestial secrets. The journey began with the launch of the Chang'e 1 mission in 2007, marking China's first step towards lunar exploration. This marked the beginning of China's ambitious journey to catch up with the US in the race to the moon. Fast forward to 2020, China achieved a significant milestone with the Chang'e 5 mission. It successfully brought back lunar samples from the near side of the moon, a feat that had not been accomplished in over 40 years. This mission demonstrated China's capability to return a spacecraft safely from the moon, completely unmanned. Now, as we speak, the Chang'e 6 mission is preparing for liftoff. Utilizing a spare spacecraft from the 2020 mission, Chang A6 is set to collect soil and rock samples from the enigmatic far side of the moon. During its 53-day voyage, it will communicate with Earth through a lunar satellite, relaying valuable information even as it traverses the moon's hidden side. But the journey doesn't stop there. The same lunar satellite will assist the forthcoming uncrewed missions, Chang 7 and 8, expected to launch in 2026 and 2028 respectively. As part of a collaborative effort with Russia, these missions aim to explore the moon's south pole in search of water and to establish a rudimentary lunar base. The ultimate goal, to land humans on the moon by 2030. However, China's lunar ambitions have stirred up concerns within NASA. Fears abound that China could monopolize the moon's water resources. Despite these apprehensions, China maintains its commitment to global cooperation for a brighter future. In a display of international collaboration, Chang'e 6 will carry equipment from France, Italy, Sweden and Pakistan. The Chang'e 7 mission will include contributions from Russia, Switzerland and Thailand. Regrettably, due to US laws, NASA remains unable to cooperate with China. Nonetheless, NASA has its own plans to land astronauts on the moon's south pole in 2026. Chang'e 6 is set to land on the northeastern side of the South Pole Aitken Basin the oldest known impact crater in the solar system. The farthest any spacecraft has landed to date was in February, through a joint operation between NASA and a company named Intuitive Machines. Scientists believe that the moon's south pole holds vast potential for lunar exploration. The presence of ice could support long-term habitation, reducing the need for supplies from Earth. This was confirmed by India's mission in 2008, which discovered ice in the polar craters. The return of lunar samples by Chang'e 6 could provide us with invaluable insights into the origins of the moon and the solar system. Indeed, the Chang'e Lunar Exploration Program is not just a journey to the moon, but a journey into the heart of our cosmic beginnings.